Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Steel Division 2. So, first time playing Steel Division, I have not actually moved off the menu. Let's see. I've got four minutes, technically five minutes playing, so I don't know how I've got four minutes in the uh, current session, but here we are. Steel Division 2, okay. Let's just adjust the audio here. I like the music, I'm not gonna lie. Just turn that down just a tad. Right, there we go. Now, <laughs> Steel Division, obviously a uh, successor to the War Game series here, really. I did play Steel Division 1, and that was, uh, let's say, a rather interesting game. It wasn't so much of my street. I'm hoping that Steel Division 2 will have learned much from the failures of this first one. And obviously take on the strength of obviously what made the War Game series quite good, so hopefully we can actually get some of that here today. Now, let's see. I could go ahead and try the multiplayer, but I'm probably not very good. Let's go ahead and take a look at the actual uh, battle groups then, shall we? So we have divisions, battle groups, and armory. Let's see. Let's take a look at the divisions. Now then, uh, I do believe they'll all have different uh, bonuses, for example. Okay, I'm going to assume that these are infantry divisions, armored, mechanized, perhaps? Yeah, third guard, mechanized, we do have... Uh, Armor divisions here, mechanized, infantry. Okay, let's take a look at the actual battle groups and is that what they're known as? Oh, so I can create one, okay. See, I'm a big fan of... Uh, oh, we do actually have some Hungarian forces over here, that's rather cool actually. It's the first cavalry division there, the Hungarian forces. Uh, we also do have infantry here as well, that's quite cool. I like the fact that they've um, also got some Hungarians in here. That's very nice. Hmm... Okay, and like that we do have some background here about the actual divisions themselves. No. I think I'm going to go with the 78th Sturm Panzer Grenadier Division. I'm going to assume that they're Panzer Grenadiers, yep. The Sturm Division was a prototype template of what future German infantry divisions would look like. With small regiments, but lavishly supplied with the MP44 assault rifles. Let's go ahead and take a look at this, then. So obviously we can build this up. So, yeah, very much like war game here, then. So let's take a look at what we actually have here. Now, uh, we do have, obviously, two scouts here, then. Obviously, equipped with the um, MP40... MP40? I almost said MP44. What else do we have, then? So we have the BMW... Uh, is it the Rhine Metal 75? I can't remember what they call them now. Okay, that's rather intriguing, then. So we do have something equipped with two MG34s there. Now, I don't know whether that's capable of actually hitting aircraft. I'm not entirely sure on that one. But it's a nice option. Let's take a look at what else we have here, then. I like the use of uh, famous art here, that's rather intriguing. Okay, is this a motorcycle section, then? Yep, okay, so we do have the actual transport here. So it looks as if they're transported around by the actual uh, motorcycle over here. Uh, what do we have here, then? So this is Spartrup, or Spa, I don't know how you pronounce that. Now, of course, the game is still in beta, so do forgive any weirdness, I suppose you could say. MP40, 2G54s, we do have a M. G34, so the LMG there. It's rather intriguing. Uh, how do I wish to play this? I mean, obviously, I do have a, um, I suppose we'll just call it like an, a car. Uh, the truck then, okay. Hmm. What do I want to give them? I do have a T26 over here. That's rather impressive. <laughs> right, I'm going. So obviously we do have a captured uh, Russian vehicle here. I think what I'm going to go with then, I'm quite a fan, quite a proponent of uh, being quite mobile. It might be worthwhile to go for the actual uh, motorcycle, but what I'm going to do here then is I'm going to take, let's see, so one of these. Uh, I'm going to say actually two of these actually. At least I could have them actually deploying the building. We still have the actual motorcycle, though it's not actually armed, is it? So actually, what we might do here then is go rid of those. I'm in fact going to go with the actual motorcycle itself. And then I'll pick up, let's see, so obviously they would be very handy in a building. So I'll bring them as well. So at least I do have two MG34, oh actually no, that's the wrong vehicle there. Am I only allowed one of these? Oh, it seems so, okay. I'll take the Panzer 26 then. Or do I take a second one? Yeah, we'll take a second one there. Okay, so they come in A phase. This unit here, when would this arrive? So that's A phase, okay. 
Right, so I'll have the motorcycle and then these two units over here then. Let's see, so infantry. Now, how many points do I have here? So 6 out of 50. Uh, right, deployment phase A, B, okay. Does this affect their actual cost then? Oh, it affects the amount I have available. That's rather intriguing then. Okay. So if I bring these guys in A phase, I have six of them. If I bring them in the B phase, I have 12 of them. Now, they are pretty damn quick on the road 95 kph. Uh, it's hard to say no to them. Yeah, these men are brought in throughout the battle. I think what I'm going to do here then is have... Um, and they would be quite nice. That's a nice amount of firepower they bring. I'll have these guys brought in on C phase. Well, actually, I might have them B phase. Though... Hmm... I don't know if I'm able to change that, actually. Okay. I like the look of the actual forces over here, then. Hmm. Wow, okay. I didn't think they'd feature them in the game, actually. That's rather impressive. Okay. We can like, uh, good... Well, we like... 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 I don't know how you pronounce it. I uh, good on the ears. Uh, impressively well armed there, so 8 MP44s, 3G43s, the MG42 there. Pioneer, MP40s, the Car 98s, and then the MG. Now they do have rather impressive grenades there. Yeah, 100 grenades. Okay. Now, Starm should some. 13 MP44s, that is an impressive amount of anti well, anti infantry firepower there. Impressive. Right, okay, 9 MP3, uh, MP44s, obviously the um, assault rifle there, 9, oh, sorry, 3G43s. So it seems like there's going to be a cost here, a cost difference. Now, I do like that, I mean, it's obviously a great amount of firepower there. The actual, so they come in the actual trucks here, let's see. What do you arrive in? The truck, okay, truck. Are they just all in trucks? Seems that way so far. Now, we are a Panzer Grenadier Division, so it's not too important for us to bring as much, well, terribly large amounts of infantry. What I'm going to say then, I mean, that's not too bad there. So, very good availability there. Eight of them on the first phase there. They do, it's only a squad of four. They're all armed with MP44, so potentially it's just, it's just a close-in unit. I say they're more so there just to try and grab some territory early. Try and grab key positions. But I think what we'll do here then is we'll come back to the infantry. We'll take a look at our tank then. So in the tank section, I do only have assault guns, but assault guns are really all we need. Now, we do have two variations. We have the Stug 3G, we have the Stug 3G uh, FUH. What's the actual difference here then? Hmm. Okay, so is it just the addition of these side skirts? I can't actually tell at the moment. They look functionally the same. I might be comparing them to the same vehicle, to be fair. No, they're looking pretty much the same there. Okay. Don't ask me what the difference is uh, on that one. Might be just down to availability and experience, perhaps. So let's take a look at the support tab then. Arrowson 1, that is an amazing looking thing. Okay, so I do have an MG42 team there. Uh, we do have flamethrowers, commandants. Uh, flamethrowers are very handy yet to actually have here. They would be fantastic, obviously, to root out enemy forces that are dug into, let's say... Yeah, let's say like fortified positions like builders, for example. So that is, I'm going to assume, veteran. So say, inexperienced, experienced... Veterans there. So, I think when it comes to these guys, I think more than merrier in a sense. So I'm gonna go with about nine of them. Okay, I do have uh, some nice. Yeah, that's been a nice gun. And we do have some Panzers over here. Then these are actually very handy. Okay, you are sporting the L48. Okay, what I'm gonna say here then is these 
These Panzer twos are actually fantastic. They are very expensive, though. Right, Commandant. Hmm. I do not know what your benefit is. You must have some sort of benefit I'm not aware of. Uh, what I'm going to say here, then, is, let's see. Range is important, so they have 2,000 meters of range there. Uh, which ain't exactly cracking, is it? Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know. Then again, that should be decent enough. I don't know. Let's see. I mean, these guys are just our supply trucks. These are supply. Obviously, they do have... They do have an increased amount of supply, actually. They are much, much lower, though. I think what I'm going to do here, then, is actually go for the Opal Blitz. Now, MGs are always fantastic to have in uh, availability. But over the MGs, let's see... I'll have one of them brought in on B, then, if I set this up right. Now, I do have these guns over here, these uh, infantry guns. I mean, they're 75mm. They're not bad at all, don't get me wrong. High rate of fire. Range ain't bad either. Accuracy leaves a lot to be desired. But let's take a look at the other gun here, then. 30% uh, accuracy. What I'm going to do here, then, is actually bring these guys in. I'm going to bring in... Let's say... Right, we'll go on further, actually, and we'll see how many points we have left there. Panzer Shrek teams are fantastic, very useful to actually have here. Okay, so I do have a Panzer Shrek here and a larger team, it seems. Yeah, we do have Marders, very nice. Pack 40 centimeter millimeter. we have Nashorn, and we have a Pack 43 there, the 88 centimeter. Very nice gun, very, very impressive gun, actually. Rangers, 2,000 meters. Now... You, of course, do come with high explosive shells as well. Of course, they do have high explosive shells here on the actual gun itself. Uh, 230 millimeters of penetration, damage is 7, suppression, uh, accuracy is very good. Yeah, it's just obviously we are going to have to have this thing towed here. <laughs> Hello there, Jakaius. Done with ruin the waves and onto room the land and the air. Indeed. Yep, you're right there, Battling Giza. They did know how to build their weapons. Now, if only I knew how to actually build a competent battle group, I, uh... Yeah, I'd be quite happy. And the NAS horns are very expensive. They do have the KWK 43L71. So, good gun. Very good gun. Penetration is 230mm. How is that compared to the Marder 2? The Marder 2 here with 190mm of penetration. Pack 40 gun there. Uh, top, yeah. I mean, the front arm is only about 40mm here. 25mm here on the NAS horn. But much penetration, uh, much better penetration. Now, we do have different rounds here. Yeah, APCR rounds. Your AP rounds are just straight up 230 penetration, okay. The pack gun, yeah, much the same. Yeah, that ain't going to be doing too terribly much there, but still, it has its use there. Just come around in a rather cool motorcycle there, tracked motorcycle. Not bad, man, really. Not bad. 100mm penetration could be used to take out uh, a few things, really. Uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do then is. Hmm. I'll take some of those. I think they could be handy. Panzer Shrek teams, yep, comes down to cost there. Now, I go from a team of just two. Of course, they're on a motorcycle. They are very quick on the roads here. Uh, Off-road speed isn't exactly fantastic, and then we do have a truck here. Stealth is something to bear in mind as well, they do have good stealth. Uh, they do have the G43, so at least they do have a little bit more utility. What I'm going to say here is bring on two Panzer Shrek teams. Now, I'm going to go back, I'm going to go in, well, actually see here. Playing the Panzer Grenadier could have been, yeah, I don't feel like I've got much in the way mechanized. Now, we do have some impressive, uh, fucking hell, look at the size of that bad boy. That is a big, big boy. Yeah, that is very impressive. I don't think you can go German and not bring those. Just for the fact that they are dual purpose, they're just as capable as taking out something here as they are taking out uh, a tank, which is really impressive. What else do we have here, Vince? We do have artillery. Uh, looks like they're equipped with some uh, MP28s. That's interesting, man. 9mm bullets. Don't know why you're under artillery. That's rather intriguing, to be honest. Right, we do have mortars over here, 120mm mortar, double warfare, uh, very awesome things there. 105mm guns, 150mm guns, we do have, what's this down here? It is the mighty one... 
to 20 millimeter there off map okay but it is the actual observer for the 210 millimeter gun there that's intriguing but uh, blast is tremendous okay smoke rounds on a verbal here range is just seems like map wide perhaps actually Level worth for 7,000 meters there. They do come with, uh, yeah, 650 millimeter high explosive shells. Basically, these rockets come in. Uh, pretty impressive, but I can imagine they would eat up that supply like no tomorrow. So what do we have here, then? So we have a Heinkel 46 C1, so obviously our reconnaissance craft. We have a Junkers uh, 188 F1. We have ME109 G8, ME109 G6, ME109 G6 slash R6. We have a Junkers 188. We have a Junkers 188 there. I can imagine it's a different bomb load there. Uh, not like the defensive armament matters, so we have 28 50 kilogram bombs, we have two 1000 kilogram bombs. I can imagine the uh, 28 50 kilogram bombs aren't too bad, really. I mean, they'd be very handy against like infantry and that sort of thing, really. Or like coating and Aryan bombs. Causing a lot of suppression, really, is what I'd say there. Yeah, I'd definitely say suppression more than anything. Okay, you are armed with the uh, auto cannons, machine guns here, too. Right, I'm going to say that we're going to need you then for the role of air supremacy. Now, you're considered air reconnaissance, actually. What's this? I imagine you're considered an actual air superiority fighter. Yep, you are indeed a fighter. Now, you are a heavy fighter. You are just classes of fighter then. Okay, so we'll bring in some fighters here. Okay, and... Um... Yep, okay. I'm not going to lie, I'm really not very good at... <laughs> oh, that's interesting, man. We actually do have some bunkers. That's really cool. That's really different. I'm not going to... I'm not going to knock that, actually. Ah. Huh. That's actually really cool. 50mm gun there, too. Cool. Yeah, that's different, then. We do have trenches here, then. I do wonder how you'd actually use these, then. Hmm, gun pen. Yeah, that is really different, actually. Don't think I've seen this in a game before like this. Yeah, there's some affected barbed wire there. Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, what I'm gonna do here, then, is we are gonna come back to creating a battle group in the future. What I'm gonna do here is save this for the time being. We're gonna go in, and we're gonna go ahead and play some single player, I think. Get a uh, feel for the actual game here. And it's been a very long time since I've played any sort of war game. So we'll go in here. Right, random pre-made, right, playing allied here, okay. Axis versus, Axis versus allies. Vitvesk. Okay, conquest. Right, then, so that's close to combat, this is conquest, we do have a breakthrough mode over here, but uh, what we're going to go ahead, then, and do is uh, look at the Eastern Front game mode here, it seems. And let's go ahead and take a look at this. So we do have staff resources, 7,500 points, or 750 points. Uh, we do have potentially more. I'm going to go with about, um, we'll say 750 points there. We do have income rate over here. We have duration over here as well. Now, that is a large game there with two players. So I think what we're going to do here then is uh, we are facing off against two medium AIs. I'm going to have them increase to hard difficulty. In fact, no, we'll play against very hard AI. I don't think it's worthwhile playing against anything that isn't uh, the closest approximation to what a play is going to be, really. So we're going to go with a random pre-made here. I think in the future, we'll spend more time with the actual game, and then we'll be able to make our own... Yeah, our own sort of decks here. Hmm. Okay, then. So, let's take a look at the actual battlefield here, then. So, of course, we have not yet begun the battle. Let's going to use the actual camera here. Okay, let's take a look at the actual battlefield itself, then. It's kind of strange, isn't it? It's like, um... An not sort of camera. I'm liking this view, though. It's really nice, actually. We do... I don't know. It's almost like zoomed in and zoomed out at the same time. Strange. I, I don't know how to describe it. Right, so we can see that my ally over here, then, has deployed some forces. He has... Is that ZSUs? Looks like he's got some T-34s, I think. Yeah, he's got a T-34 over here. He's got a motorcycle. Uh, AA there. 
Let's have a look. Yeah, quite a few different vehicles here, but... Okay, let's take a look at what we wish to do here, actually. So he's deployed on most of the roads there. He has not deployed over this section, though. I think it might be an opportunity that we potentially, um... Yeah, potentially push on for these hills over here. This is a very large hill, then. Right, I mean, this is the main hill of the center of the map. Obviously, if we took command of that, we'd actually have a very good uh, position. That's not bad. Obviously, it'd be a good place for the infantry to fight. We do have the town here supporters in the advanced air service. That's cover. We do have the central position here. We do have a fairly open flank over here, but the town does uh, cover a lot there. We do have positions up over here. But I think, take a look at this, it might be perhaps essential to control the central area here, at least with the infantry. So I think I'm going to make a push over here. Though the issue is my ally has deployed his forces here on the road. I don't want to have too many men moving up one way. So actually, yeah, I'm going to have my men move up on this flank over here, the right-hand flank. Of course, that's going to leave us a little bit uh, lighter on the ground over that way, but I think we'll be okay. Now let's take a look over here, then. So I do have armored reconnaissance, and that is in a T-3476 with the, uh, what gun do we have here? The F-3476.2 millimeter cannon. We do have the MG there as well. We do have the Recorsa squad over here, then, so of course I quit with the PPSH. Our 41, so... Yeah, just the one submachine gun there. We do have seven SPTs, so that's not too bad at all, and we do have the bazooka, the M1 bazooka, not bad. Let's take a look, then. Infantry over here. Right, 13 Mors and Gantz, we do have three LMGs in there. Uh, TNT, Panzer Faust, interesting, actually. Tanks here, then. Okay, so I do have a uh, T6 Tiger. <laughs> so is that like, what, a uh, captured German Tiger, it seems like. Uh, right, KV-1S. We do have the ZIS-5 gun there, the 76.2mm. Basically the same gun as what is... Uh, well, it's a different gun. Same caliber as what's mounted on the actual T-34s there. Maxim machine gun. Anti-tank, okay. SU-88. 25mm of front armor there. The KVS-1 has 95, the Tiger 125mm is there. What we're going to do here then is look, um, okay. Artillery. Artillerist. Artillery observer. I do have an SU-76 there. Okay, there's this three. Right, we do have air support here then. So, PA, uh, sorry, PE-283. Yak-1B. Um... Okay, I'm not going to call them on as of yet. Though it might be potentially worthwhile. I think what we're going to do here then is we'll look at what we have in terms of infantry. So they arrive in a large truck over here then. They arrive in a small car. They arrive in the small car as well. Okay. So it's going to be infantry first with reconnaissance. Yeah, reconnaissance first then the infantry. So I do have... It's not too bad of a speed there. That's not too bad then. So we are going to bring in uh, one of these cars over here. I'll have one brought in over this way as well. And then I'm going to have a third one potentially brought in elsewhere. Question is going to be like, how do we wish to use this? I'll have this one brought in over here. Its job's going to be try and move up over that way. So we have hunt, 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 move fast, reverse, fire position, unload a position, uh, quick hunt. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So I'm going to have them move up over that way. I assume they're going to be doing that. Okay, I want them to try and secure this forward position over here. Just at that approach. I mean, I could potentially have them move up fast over this way too. Which might actually be a good idea. So what we're going to do here then is actually bring you over this way. I'm going to have you move fast up to this position here. You are going to be moving fast up to this position over here. It's very forward. So it might be safer to actually go from that position there. At least them could potentially take that and not be decimated on the ground. Your job is to secure this uh, position up over here to the north. So you can have them do that. Now, we do have the uh, T-34s for reconnaissance here. What I'm going to do is actually bring them up over on this flank over here. The reason for that is we actually do have the open terrain. I can actually have them employed without having them tied up to the town but I'm trying to grab you there we go of course this game is early access so do forgive any niggles okay two of those guys selected then okay what we're gonna do then is have them hunt forwards to I'd say about wow this is it we're looking for a central position here to actually use aren't we so what I'm gonna say then is one of the tanks is actually gonna make its way down here and 
keep on moving up to this position here, try and get into a position where we can actually take a look down the road. I'm going to have you move fast to this position here, and I'm going to have you hunt up the road there. I need to try and secure this ASAP Oh, to that point over there. Now, of course, I do have a couple more points here. We do have some support available. The Maxim guns, we do have AT available to us. So I'm going to bring in an SU-88. That is going to move up to this sort of position here. I want it kind of uh, to be hidden behind that building over here. Anti-air. I'm going to bring in some anti-air here. Now, then equipped with the autocannons, then equipped with the actual AA machine guns. I'm going to bring in one there, one there. There we go. I'll bring uh, some fire in here. We do have some self-propelled artillery. I'm going to bring in a couple of these. I think they're important. But then again, I, I am lacking here on infantry. Infantry is obviously what we need here more than anything. So, yeah, it's going to be the rifle squads. Okay, I have five rifle squads over here then. What I'm going to do here then is actually take... Let's see. Right. Is that a shoe there too? Okay. Get rid of them actually again. I don't want them to have... Uh, yeah, deploy them in the same unit. Uh, have those three there. I know it's not the best move to actually have them brought in together. Unloaded position. I'm going to have them unload over here actually. I want to make sure I control that position there. Uh, these guys are going to unload over here. They're going to look to move in there. Now, these men have to try and make it up over here as well. But what I'm going to do then is have them move fast this position here, see if they can actually make it out alive. I do have 45 points here. So I do actually have the points here for just another T-3476, which is actually really quite good there. Uh, very, very nice. I could wait and actually bring in the KV-1S, which is probably not a bad idea. What I'm going to do is actually not do that and actually bring in another piece of armor here immediately. The reason for that is I'd like to try and occupy this position over here, try and get some armor into the actual ground, onto the ground here. Okay, and uh, we'll begin the battle. Drew Morale is slipping, comrade. We must counterattack. Now, so let's take a look here then. Our horse is moving down the road. Hmm. Vehicle's moving down the center line van pretty quickly. That's good. That's what we need. We need to move fast, fast, fast. Okay, yeah, I'm looking to secure this position over here. We can see the enemy forces moving as well. Uh, the armor is moving up over here now. Yeah, the armor is significantly slower. Right, objective has been lost over here. Right, okay. Our forces are moving up over here. Enemies definitely in this area. Enemy air contact. Okay, tanks going to keep on moving there. Infantry's moving up over there. Right, SU-88 in position. Okay, what you are going to do is begin to advance up over here. Okay, get off the road, get off the road. Right, shot out there, misses. Right, looks like that enemy vehicle has taken out. Fantastic. Okay. We do have another T-34 there. Okay, unload here. There we go. Look to move up over here. Have them unload. Okay, yep, they need to... Yep, okay, armor is coming up here to spawn them in just a moment. Yeah, we do have a firefight here. Okay, unload. Oh, not good. Okay, we do have some points available here. Right, keep the t 34s moving up. Move them up here. Well, we've lost that with the infantry there, so I'm going to have to bring up some additional forces here to support that. Now, I do have some additional infantry over here. I'm going to bring them up. Uh, let's see here. Artillery air. Let's see. I do have a PE2. I'm going to bring that up. Actually available to me now. So I'm going to have this PE brought up over here. We can see that there's a Panzer T-34 over there. So our vehicle has just been taken out there, so obviously that is not a good position. Uh, we are going to move our SU over here. The, SA, the SU-88 is going to cover that position over there, actually. Right, that has had the crew killed over there. 
Отделение ждет команды. Окей. Тим Мю, Тим Бул. Райт он лайн. Right, enemy vehicles are moving down the river. Right, reinforcement uh, T-34 is coming in. We do have the SU-88. It's going to be important. Okay. Right. Enemy forces on that area there. Bring the actual uh, bombers in here. There we go. Bring in another bomber. Yep, aircraft coming in here. Okay. Looks like just uh, cannon fire, really. Still, better than nothing. Right, that crew's been killed there. Can we actually bring in anything to deal with that? No, I don't think I actually have anything to sort by as of yet. Okay. Right. We do have control of this position over here, but we are under fire from an enemy T-34 over there. Panzer T-34. Uh, PE-2 is coming in there. Okay, and load into the actual trees here. Right, try to move up with the infantry. Yeah, try and move up. Right, move up to the edge of the road there. Well, edge of the actual uh, town. Okay, they're actually still here, aren't they? Give them another target. Enemy fighter? Yeah, it's an enemy fighter. Or actually, it looks like a bomber of some sort. Hmm. A load of that. A load of that. Hunt up. Right, move up. Okay. We do have 220 points over here, then. I could potentially bring in an AT6 Tiger. Uh, what I'm going to do is actually bring in a KV-1S. Have it occupy that position of that. That's the event. So, support anti-tank. Um, I wish I had some mortars here. Mortars, actually, we do have some 82mm uh, mortars. I'm going to actually bring in some uh, self-propelled. Something of a self-propelled gun over here. Yep, there we go. Right, you've just arrived. What I want you to do, then, is we do have smoke position. Okay. So, you need to smoke up that position over there. Right, looks like we shot down the enemy, enemy ME410. Oof. A lot of MEs. A lot of MEs to actually say here. Okay, continue to up, 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 hunt up that way. We did just lose our vehicle over here, then, the SU, unfortunately. Right, go and try and hit that. Actually, going to bring the KV1S over this way. I'm going to bring potentially another. Actually, what I'm going to do is bring in another two T34s of this way. Yeah, bring them under fire. There we go, nice shots are available to us. Hmm. Okay. Anti uh, artillery. I'll bring an artillery spot over that way. Okay, we do have enemy positions over here. So I'm gonna bring down some shots over that way. Okay. Have the infantry move up over here. And uh, we do have our KV-1S actually moving into position. Yep, yeah, enemy vehicles up over there. Okay, we're gonna to begin to advance if we can to... They are taking shots. Right, the two T-34s actually, are they under fire already? Yeah, they can see that enemy vehicle over there. Gun jammed over here, okay. I'm gonna have you reverse, try and get you to some cover. Infantry's been pushed and held down there, okay. Let's see, so artillery, air power, we don't really have anything until we get into B phase, really. Obviously, when we get to B phase, things will get harder. It might be worth it to bring in enough uh, KV-1S. Okay, we are being pushed back over here. Okay, I'm gonna say that we need potentially more infantry here in the town, so I'm gonna bring the infantry over here. 
And yeah, okay, we do only have sappers now. So bring those in. Support, we're gonna need some anti tank guns. Okay, that unit is under fire. We do have our own infantry here. There is a Panzer II Lux moving up, which is a quite dangerous unit. Uh, we do have an anti tank rifle here, which could be quite important. Could actually take that out. So, does not seem as if that's gonna happen there. Yeah, not very likely. But they are doing some damage. Not terribly large amounts, but still some. Do you have a bazooka there? Right, vehicles are moving into the town. Okay, vehicles brought in. Right, we do have a large vehicle moving down there, so there's a Tiger. Okay, we're gonna have to bring in our own Tiger here, aren't we? Yeah, we are being uh, overwhelmed here. Hmm. Right, okay, we are <laughs> being overwhelmed here. I'm gonna bring in more T-34s if we can, but... Okay, have that vehicle move up there. Have it present its frontal armor there. Try and have the Tiger take out the enemies. Doubt it'll happen, but maybe. We're getting some nice shots. Okay, we are seeing some actual armored cars. Tracking something. Aiming. Yeah, no line of sight. Ooh, he's not looking good here, is it? Okay. Yep. <laughs> I think we've had our arse handed to us by the AI here. That's without a doubt. So, there's always chance. Oh, there we go, we can see the line of sight. That's pretty cool that you can actually do that. Okay. Yeah, Panzer T-34. And I think we have been just... Yep, defeat that, total defeat. Oof, not surprised, actually. That was really quite rough. Uh, I think the hard AI, well, very hard AI, definitely wins up to that. Interesting. 10 minutes and 32 seconds then that we lost it. <laughs> we really did not take much of the way of objectives, did we? That is a shame. Okay. I think what I'm going to do there is actually call that uh, for today. It's been actually interesting. I'm going to call this my first look at Steel Division 2. If you guys would like to see more Steel Division 2 on the channel, please do let me know. And of course, until next time, thank you for watching. And if you have enjoyed this, please do go ahead and check out Steel Division 2 on Steam. Of course, it's not yet released, but of course, there is the beta. And of course, if you enjoyed this, please go ahead and consider becoming one of my patrons. And of course, hit that like, subscribe, and until next time, goodbye for now, ladies and gentlemen. See you all very soon.